living on these islands of ours, there are 48 million of us. Each one of us has to eat. More than half of our food used to come from overseas. Before the war, every year, we imported over 12 million hundredweight of vegetables. Besides vegetables, we need lots of other foods. Every year before the war, we imported vast quantities of meat, fruit, sugar, butter and cheese, and fish, not to mention wheat. Most of all, we need milk. Before the war, we used to import every year over six million tons of food for our farm animals. Today, our shipping must carry raw materials and munitions for ourselves and our allies. If we depended on imported foods alone, we should now go very empty. We should be faced with a shortage of vegetables and other foods, and our cows would give far less milk. We shall have to see what we can do about it. Much of our farmland must grow wheat for bread and oats for porridge. Much of the rest must grow food for our cows. We must grow lots more vegetables to make up for the shortage of them we must replace our loss of other foods. But our farmland is limited. Our farms can give us milk or vegetables, but not enough of both. We must have all the milk we can get. So where are we to get the land to grow these vegetables? We can't take the land from the cows, we mustn't take it from the corn. So there's only one solution, our garden or allotment. Each of the plots grew almost enough vegetables for a wise household of five people for a whole year. At the end of 1941, there were over one and a half million of them. But that is still far from enough. We must have more allotments and many more gardens must be turned over to vegetables. There are still too many lawns and flower gardens and vacant plots all over the country that must be dug. That must grow vegetables. Every bit of land must play its part or we shall go short. garden on war service. If you haven't got a garden, go to your local council office and ask for an allotment. 